Today, in today's video, hey guys, um, I'm back on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about buzzing the mouthpiece. It's nice to see your smiley face here. Uh, thanks for joining our workout. Today, we're going to be talking about the mouthpiece. As you know, we're on this flow of practicing our core basics, the basics of our playing. It's really, really important. And today, I want to talk about buzzing the mouthpiece. But hey, before we get started, if this is the first time we meet, my name is Raf. I play the trombone, the bass trombone, the euphonium, and I am here to help you optimize your playing on the instrument. We do a lot of exercises. I'm going to start posting some arrangements and everything. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe on. I will link it below where I send you some free material. I send you some free exercises and whatnot. I also have started a Patreon page. So if you want to get deeper into what we're talking about and also get some pieces and concert etudes, warm-up etudes, I've started writing those really cool warm-up etudes, then you can sign up for that too. I will link it in the description to this video below. And of course, please subscribe to this channel. Press this little bell so that you get notified when I post new content. As I was saying today, we're going to be practicing on the mouthpiece. First thing is first, how do you hold it? This is really important because I've seen some crazy stuff out there. Hold it like this, between your first finger and your thumb, and then you can like kind of balance it a little bit with your third finger. The thing that you don't want to do is hold it like this and just put it as tight as possible on your chops. This is something that you absolutely want to avoid. So just one finger here, the thumb here, you know, and then of course if it's a little bit heavier, I have some really, I have some really heavy mouthpieces. So of course this would be a little bit hard or put tension in your, in your arm. This is not what you want to do. So just balance it with your third finger and put it to your mouth. Now, when I say put it to your mouth, I'm going to sit like this for a second so that you see I actually really mean put your mouthpiece to your mouth and not the other way around. I know it seems logical, but people do the contrary very, very often. So I mention it again, again, uh, what I said last time. Repetition is the mother of skill. So let's just do it again. You're like this, you're standing straight, the mouthpiece comes to your lips and not the other way around. I see so many people going like this. So holding the mouthpiece is something very important. There is another thing that I need to mention, which might seem really, really obvious for a lot of people, but I've seen some crazy stuff again. Um, when you practice your mouthpiece or when you practice your trombone, in general, you need to take care of your mouthpiece. You need to wash your mouthpiece. It's very simple. A little bit of water, a little bit of soap, a little brush, you don't have to have those fancy sprays. I have one because it kind of disinfects and I like to have it very clean because I want to avoid at all costs having any kind of a rash on my chops. Uh, and some people, they play on disgusting mouthpieces and then they wonder, oh, I have a little pimple here so I can't play. Oh no, what a pity. Well, just wash your mouthpiece. This is the first step that you need to do. Okay, so now let's actually talk about how to play in your mouthpiece. I don't know if you've guys seen in the trombone community a few years Years ago at least there was this big movement to buzz or not to buzz some people talking really strongly uh, having an enormous opinion about yeah you should practice with your mouthpiece it's the only thing that you can do to build your chops and some other people saying no you should absolutely not at all costs practice your mouthpiece buzzing because this is not how you practice your sound it gets you a bad sound and people throwing balls at each other I found it quite Funny, quite humorous actually, because you know, it's not like a first world matter, it's just playing the fucking trombone uh, with your mouthpiece or not, you know. So, I have the answer actually about whether you should buzz or not, and the answer is yes if you do it properly. Now, there's a good way to buzz and there's a bad way to buzz. If you buzz badly, if you practice badly on your mouthpiece, you will have a shitty sound on your trombone. And the opposite is true. If you practice properly with your mouthpiece, you will have a better sound on your trombone. Okay, so what do I mean by playing well on the mouthpiece? A lot of people play the mouthpiece like it's an actual instrument and they have this buzz sound that they want to reproduce. So they put their mouthpiece and they kind of clench to, to make a buzz. Like, the aim is to actually buzz, which is not what it is. And it makes kind of a sound like this. Um, 
and I hope you can hear it in the microphone. So if I do this kind of technique with my buzzing um, on the instrument, this is what you're going to hear. <laughs> This is the actual sound that is coming out of my instrument. Now as you can hear, it is very, 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 very bad. It is a very bad sound. And this is the argument that the people against buzzing have. No, you shouldn't buzz your mouthpiece because look at the sound that it has. So you're practicing a bad sound. But on the contrary, I think, okay, if you, and, and some of the people say, no, but it builds your chops, which actually it kind of does, but I think that you should practice the mouthpiece like you would practice your trombone, um, and it, it has a different feel to it, right? So the way that you should practice your mouthpiece is to actually play and blow like you would on the trombone. Now, a lot of people, funny enough, they can sustain a phrase longer on their mouthpiece than on their trombone. And they say, yeah, because the trombone is big and everything. But no, the hole is the same. The hole of the mouthpiece is the same. So what you need to do is actually blow more air. And that is because you don't have the resistance. It's not, yeah, I have a big trombone, I need a lot of air. It's the hole here is quite large, so I need to put a lot of air. And when I put my mouthpiece on the trombone, the trombone itself with all the tubing and the valves if you have some or not, if you don't, um, but there's still an, uh, an amount of resistance, you get resistance. So normally you should be able to play longer phrases on your trombone than you are with only your mouthpiece. Now, I hope I'm not mumbling, I think this is really important because the, the way you practice your mouthpiece will really have an impact on the quality of your sound and of, and of your playing in general. So this is how you have to practice. This is how mouthpiece sounds. So first, let's put a note on the trombone. And reproduce the exact... I hope I didn't click on the mic. Um, and reproduce exactly the same sound on your mouthpiece. Now you can hear there's a lot of air and I'm using a lot of air because I don't have the resistance of the instrument and this is how you should practice your mouthpiece. So now if you would practice um Now, yeah, I am practicing loud on the mouthpiece, but I want to reproduce the same sensation again of the mouthpiece on the um, on the mouthpiece as I have on the instrument, and this is really important. And actually, this is all I want to say on this video. On the next video, we will do a proper mouthpiece workout. I have prepared some exercises, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to make those videos not too long, but post consistently, right? So I am going to post some exercises and I'm going to send you the exercises if you signed up to the newsletter. Um, but those are things that I want you to think about. And actually for next time, your homework, because yeah, I do give homework on this channel. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. But if you want to get better at playing, do it. Um, is exactly that. So play a note on your trombone. and then reproduce the same sensation. And if you play that way on your mouthpiece and then put it on the trombone, it actually makes, I run out of air, let's do it again. It makes the proper sound. And then vice versa, if you play like the buzzing sound, you get this shitty sound. A lot of students have asked me, yeah, when I play with my mouthpiece and only my mouthpiece, I have 
tension in my, I have a throat ache, but not when I play my trombone. And I don't know if you can see on the camera, but when I play it badly, um, with this bad mouthpiece sound, can you see my throat? It goes really big, there's a lot of tension, and obviously I can't have a sound like this. But if I play it properly, can you see the difference? I hope you can see the difference on the camera. I certainly feel the difference. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Practices in this, uh, this exercise. Before you do any mouthpiece workouts, I want you to do this. It is really important. I know it's very basic, but it's the basics, having a strong foundation. They say, if you want to see how high a sk skyscraper is going to be, just look at how deep are the foundations. So these first couple of videos that we're doing now on the channel, like standing straight and blowing through the instrument and to have a good sound, and now like learning to actually properly properly use your mouthpiece before you do a mouthpiece workout is really 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 important. You don't want to practice the wrong way otherwise you're not going to progress and maybe you're even going to get worse. Uh, I know that when I don't practice properly then I have a shitty sound and not a good sensation and then the music suffers. It's, it's, it's about the music and just to close it off because I, I just want to like give you a heads up kind of Yes, it's all about your ears and it's all about the sound and it's all about the music and how you hear, but there is an undeniable amount of physicality in playing the trombone. And I want us to focus on how we hear the sounds, but I also want us to focus on all the next exercises, and I'm probably going to repeat it every single video, but I want us to focus on the sensations that we have in our physiology, in our body, on our chops, the way we breathe, in our throats, in our mouth, in our cavities, in our arms when we play, in our shoulder blades when we breathe. There's an enormous amount of physicality in playing the trombone, the bass trombone even more, the tuba, the trumpet, of course, all these brass instruments also, any kind of instrument there's physicality, but I find that brass instruments in particular because we are the instruments, we are the creators of sound and this is just a beautiful amplifier but that's all it is, you are the instrument, you are the sound so I want us to focus not only on hearing, a lot of teachers are going to tell you just listen to it and reproduce what you hear and that's great but you also have to really be aware of the movements that you're making, of the of the yeah of your physiology so that's it for today um, if you've enjoyed this video please put a thumbs up if you have any questions uh, I don't know if you've seen in the other videos but I answer every single comment every single question I'm here to help um, I've gotten a few emails to send some exercises um, it's hard for me to send old exercises because um, you know, I just have to go through it and then send a whole bunch of emails. So I do it now a little bit because because I really care, but I don't have so, so much time. So just subscribe to the newsletter and you will get new exercises every time. Now, if you subscribe to the Patreon, what I do is that not only you get extended amounts of exercises, you also get etudes, you also get uh, pieces, and you also get at the end of the month all the previous exercises, so like some sort of archives. So if you're interested in this, I'm linking everything below. If you want to send me a message on Twitter, if that's easier than the comments for some reason, this is my Twitter address. I also have the website where I try to write some stuff on it. Everything is linked below basically. In the next video we're going to be talking, we're actually going to do a proper mouthpiece workout. But please, 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 I beg you, do this exercise so that you know how to practice the mouthpiece. There is a bad way of practicing the mouthpiece and there is a good way of practicing the mouthpiece. And the reason why some people feel so strongly about practicing or not the mouthpiece is just you know, should you practice this? Yes, if you do it properly. So do this exercise. I've said it enough times. Take care. Have a nice end of the day or afternoon or whenever you watch this video. Maybe you're sleeping when I post this video. So I hope you have really nice dreams. I'm talking rubbish. I'm just going to press the stop button. Take care. I'll see you soon. Ciao.